Sir. Thank you, John. Uh, with your permission, before I make some comments, I would like to ask the audience one question. Uh, does everyone uh, agree that uh, national currency, which is being used and circulated within the national bo uh, border, is a public good? I think uh, everyone is agree with this. Can be. Should be. So, if it is positive answer, on the basis of previous speakers said, can we declare with some thinking about that the uh, US dollar is a global public good? Unfortunately, for many of people, uh, the answer under recent conditions, under recent circumstances, under the figures shown on the screen, the answer can be only positive. Yes, we can like it or dislike it, but US dollar is a global public good. So shall we blame the dollar itself for different kinds of uh, policy actions and utilization of the currency by different people, by different authorities? I don't, I don't think sure that we should blame the dollar itself. It is an X which can be used either for constructing houses or taking lives. The same story with the dollar. So from, based on this observation, I can see that the biggest issue for multipolar world, for multilateral relationship, is the responsibility of those who issue the reserve currencies. And nowadays, it's not only uh, one single uh, currency, but in principle, the responsibility of authorities of reserve currency economy or reserve currency nation. So we can speak about substitution, dollar for ramen beef, dollar for euro, dollar for everything. But the responsibility will rest with the authority. So my judgment at this point is that what we really need is to start working on the rules, principles, high-level principles, guidelines, we can call it differently, on the behavior of reserve currency nation. So uh, the movement to the, to the directions will save us quite a lot of uh, uh, for, uh, energy, at least. Uh, because when we substitute, we will have the same uh, the story whether on, on which way the uh, national currency as a reserve currency are being used by national authorities. So we are living in the world when the, and the title of our panel, when the uh, uh, monetary system, or I would better say that infrastructure, for a financial infrastructure of uh, one particular country is being used as a political weapon. It's a very ba really bad story. So, but it is happening and we somehow need to accommodate to it. And we are accommodating. For example, uh, the decisions to develop a uh, special payment system within the European Union in order to uh, make settlements with uh, trade, well, when we are trading with Iran. There's uh, decisions are taken by Central Bank of Russia to decrease the um, portion of uh, U.S. Treasury in our international reserves. So it can be done in different way, but what is really interesting about U.S. dollars, you cannot escape the fact that the biggest invoicing is taking place in U.S. dollar. Well, it is easy to say uh, to speak about the international trade in general, but what was much more important is invoicing. You can make settlement in any different countries, as happened in my case, for example. We allow our obligas, our debtors, for example, when we grant uh, state credits to foreigners, pay whatever they want, rubles, euros, dollars, whatever. But invoicing still in the dollars. Even when we uh, speaking about with new uh, financial in institutions as new development banks set up by BRICS nations, Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank set up by China and others. What's happened? At the end that the authorized capital, paid in capital, 
all are nominated in dollars. So that's why we are living within this, uh, uh, this is, uh, framework. So a couple of examples of how uh, guidelines or principles of uh, responsible behavior of uh, uh, reserve currency nation can look like. Just one first principle is keep your own house in order. I mean economic and financial house and all. The second principle, not harm the interests of economic agents. The biggest uh, harm comes from the so-called secondary nations. When you uh, see uh, economic agents are suffering in the cases where they have nothing to do with the economic, uh, with the foreign policy, with the uh, aims and wishes of uh, nation who is under the sanctions. And the, I, uh, there's a number of other uh, things can be put as the principles for uh, responsible behavior. Do we have examples that we can cooperate within on multilateral, uh, on multilateral level in, in the directions I just described? Yes, we have very good ones. The, the, the best one is the international cooperation on taxation. Just recent episodes, very uh, politically touching issue, I mean taxation, the way it is being paid, the uh, way it is being paid to him, uh, but we agree. We agree within the OECD, within G20, and uh, the agreement, multilateral agreement is being implemented by all without any pressure. Every nation uh, take the responsibility by themselves. So I finish this, but with the uh, hope that uh, my, my position is being well understood. Thank you. Thank you.